Welcome to Romagne, a little village in the northeast of France. Here we find the Museum 1418, where its owner, Jean-Paul de Vries, keeps the memory alive of the soldiers who lived and died in the First World War. In a series of short videos, Jean-Paul will show us some highlights, all found on the former battlefields within a few miles from his own museum. Yeah, uh, alcohol. That's uh, one of the biggest drugs, I think, in the First World War to calm down the men. We see that every war will be combined with drugs. If it's drugs like we know in pills or drugs like alcohol, but a normal man is supposed to be doing his job for over a couple of days, non-stop, without sleeping, killing, being almost killed, and forget about fear, forget about your uh, hunger. It's, you need things to continue. And First World War, I think that alcohol was the thing to continue. And the army uh, played in that, they knew it. They knew that these men, if you fill them with alcohol, they would forget about everything. And it's even that bad that I think one of the pictures is so remarkable is that if you see the preparation of the Battle of Verdun, uh, you got about six soccer fields full with 500 liters barrels of wine, five, six high. And that's only the first couple of days of the Battle of Verdun preparation of fill up your men with alcohol and hope they will do what you ask them to do. And maybe this is a very nice symbol, it's the French uh, gourde, they call it, the drinking bottle. The big hole to fill it up with wine, the small hole to empty it. But a small anecdote about this bottle is that soldiers knew that if you would shoot in here with a blank, and a blank is a bullet without a point, will, will just give the blast, it would blow up and you can fill your bottle with half a liter more of wine. Because they knew that two liters a day isn't enough anymore. You need more and more and more to stay drunk, to stay warm, to forget about fear, to forget about hunger. So soldiers found their own solutions of getting more. And drugs is another one. Uh, give the soldiers drugs so they forget about war. It's still being used every day. But I think that people are not made for this. So using other ways of letting them forget, make them keep on going fighting these wars, these wars. If you would like to support the museum, please visit our website www.friendsofromania1418.com.